Now you know you don't need to vaccinate your dogs against viral disease every year. Now if you want um, evidence for that then I'd check out uh, the pronouncements made by Dr. Ronald D. Schultz, who is Head of Pathobiology at Wisconsin University. Uh, Dr. Schultz is arguably the world expert in this subject and uh, he's also the main mover, I would say, behind the pronouncements made by bodies such as the World Small Animal Veterinary Association. There is one uh, vaccine that doesn't fall into this category and that's the leptospirosis vaccine. This is a bacteria or a range of bacteria that um, you can't get permanent immunity for and in fact some vaccines are thought to give protection for only between three and six months which means that even if you vaccinate every year there's a, there's a possibility that your dog is still unprotected for maybe nine months of the year. The other factor to bear in mind, and there are actually quite a few factors um, relating to the lepto vaccine, is that leptospirosis is actually quite a rare disease. My own vet, um, and I come from a farming area where there are lots of rats who are thought to be carriers of the leptospirosis bacteria, um, has told me that he hasn't seen a case of lepto for 10 years. So it's not as common as you might be led to believe. However, if it's in your area and it's something you're concerned about, you may well look into the lepto vaccine. The other problem is that there are hundreds and hundreds of strains of lepto and maybe only two or three in a vaccine, which means that it's not going to be protective against all strains. In fact, the vast majority of strains are not going to be uh, aided by the use of the vaccine. Another problem is it is the vaccine most commonly associated with anaphylaxis, uh, which is a, an allergic reaction to the vaccine. Um, and this can be anything from brain, brain damage to death. So if you do have lepto in your area and you're looking for a solution, you need to ask your vet some questions. And you also need to be aware of the risk associated with it. In fact, according to the American Veterinary Medical Association, the World Small Animal Veterinary Association and, and the other bodies, it is actually quite a dangerous vaccine and it's, it's termed non-core, and that is you do not use it unless you know there's a real need for it. The other questionable vaccine to be aware of is the kennel cough vaccine. Uh, kennel cough is a bit like the flu, it mutates and so the vaccine manufacturers are, are really chasing a moving target. Uh, we already know now from, from the scientific evidence that the human flu vaccine is known to be ineffective. It actually doesn't do a great job at preventing disease and the kennel cough vaccine arguably falls into that category. Uh, just not very effective. The, uh, the thing about kennel cough is that just like the flu, it's uh, debilitating, it's unpleasant, but it's very rarely life-threatening. Uh, and like other vaccines, it comes with risks. Uh, there is even some evidence to say uh, from one particular trial that the kennel cough vaccine makes matters worse and that dogs would be better off with nothing. So again, do look into this and think before you vaccinate. Some dog lovers, having heard the, um, the warnings about annual vaccination, choose to do what's known as a titer test. This is where the, the vet will take a, a small blood sample and send it off for analysis uh, to look to see how many circulating antibodies there are against each of the important viral diseases. This is an option. Uh, some vets are cheaper than others. Some ask for horrendous amounts of money. And my advice to you is shop around because it actually doesn't have to be expensive. Uh, again, the vaccine issue is full of ifs and buts. The problem is that um, circulating antibodies aren't going to guarantee that your dog is immune. You could have lots of antibodies and come down with a disease 
hardly any antibodies and be immune to the disease. So it's, it's, it's a bit odd, but that's, that's the way it is. Um, the fact that there are any antibodies at all is, despite that, quite a good indicator that your dog is probably immune. Now, some of the experts say that you need a certain level of antibodies. Uh, Dr. Ron Schultz, who I mentioned before, the, uh, the world expert, he's sort of putting forward a, a theory at the moment that even if it's a low level of antibody, then this would indicate that immunity resides in memory. Um, once again, there are no uh, guarantees where immunity and vaccination is concerned. So let's recap. One, you do not need to vaccinate your dogs every year. You don't need to spend the money and you don't need to risk the adverse effects. Once a dog is immune to viral disease, they are immune for years or life. And that comes from the world expert, Dr. Ronald D. Schultz, the World Small Animal Veterinary Association, the American Veterinary Medical Association, the American Animal Hospital Association and the Australian Veterinary Association. So uh, they're saying this for a reason. They're saying it because it's true uh, and this is despite the fact that their members, uh, vets in practice, are going to lose income if this information gets out there. The second point is that if you want to, if you're worried, you can do a titer test. Um, you don't need to do it every year because once you have immunity, once you have circulating antibodies, they're there, you know. So don't spend your money every year, but if you want to do it just to find out that they're there, then, then that's fine. Um, if the dog doesn't have circulating antibodies, there's a potential that he's not going to develop immunity at all. So if you do revaccinate again to try and get that antibody level it's worth doing another titer test afterwards just to check. I have to say that I don't vaccinate my dogs at all not even as puppies. Uh, the reason for this is that I've uh, for the last 15 years been researching the vaccine issue and uh, in my view the risks of vaccination outweigh the benefits. Um, my three dogs are 15 and two of them are 11. They've never, uh, well in fact, Gwynny's been vaccinated, the 15 year old, as a puppy, never since, and the two boys have never been vaccinated. And they've been very healthy. None of the chronic illnesses you see in uh, over vaccinated dogs. What I do do, however, is use the homeopathic vaccine alternative, which is called the no-sode, which we'll be talking about at a later date. And I feed them biologically appropriate food. Food is the cornerstone of good health, and uh, we'll be talking about that later too.